Hey guys, it's here and today I'll be bringing you some more Unity 3 tutorial. This time, we are going to make a door with a key. <laughs> now, uh, first, we're going to make the plane. This is just a very simple plane. Just like that. And then we're going to make the wall. And then I think I need to fix the lightning so I can actually see the place. There we go. Just put this in appropriate place or you have a doorway, then you are good. All right. Now in here we are going to put our door right inside here. Yet it's too small. I'm just going to play with this for a while. <clears throat> Alright. Now make your actual door. Make your actual door right there. There we go. Just for example, this is your door. Alright, this is your door. I want to name this door. First, what do to make is the hinge of the door. Hinge. Now, put the hinge in the correct position. This position must be placed in front of the wall. If actually, I can make this right in front of the wall. Mm. That should do it. Put your door into your hinge so the door should be the child of the hinge now as you can see if you rotate you will rotate the door all right now we make a new script let's name this door script open your door script Open your default script editor. Mine's Visual Studio as always. It's easier to use. <clears throat> now, public static that we learned from the previous episode about getting it will be um, accessible by another script. Um, I just close this S public static bool. Um, door key and right here public in um no uh, public bool open public bool close now on void um public static static now um oh yeah uh, what we can do is we can actually get the hitch so this one just can be put just as normal this public bool no static so now add component um box collider and then make this into the correct position just like this now this is in the correct position right here uh, I'm going to make it bigger there we go make sure this is is trigger All right on here void on trigger enter collider other um, Um, next is we got public bool in trigger in triggers equal to true then next is void on trigger exit collider other in triggers equal to false and void on update uh, on 
up there so that will be a void on GUI if in trigger GUI dot box new rec um, um, if open which means that this is if it is on open state then joy box dot new rack screen dot not no 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 you can always play with the joy but i'm not going to actually focus on joy on any episode because it's going to waste the recording time so you can always play that uh, as if we are having a tutorial on joy then yeah zero zero and then 225 and then press e to close else which mean if if it's on close position that error scare me zero zero 225 and then here press e to open then we're done with the gui and void why did I put on update? Should be an update, void update. <laughs> if in trigger, and then if open, and then var new rotation is equal to quaternion dot rotate rot rotate towards um transform dot rotation comma quaternion dot elur elur a then zero zero f uh, this is going to be your opening this one should be your opening state and then zero point zero f um mine um open your unity your hinge to see the y it's on negative 90 basically all right it's negative 90 negative 90 and there's like one comma there and then this one should be time dot delta time times 200 this is basically the speed of the um, door I tried it before recording and turn is suit for the door if you're playing on or you're making a horror game that thing should be slower basically and then transform the rotation is equal to new route uh, not rotate rotation else if close then var new route just copy this and then just put this one on zero just like the other one all right um also right here we are going to put new if in trigger two um if and then if no uh, make sure this one is is close um, if if close and then if door key also right here if close and then right here should be if door key or uh, not that one right here if door key else uh, just copy this just name this need a key if close if door key if input dot get key down key code dot e open is equal to true close is equal to false and then uh, else on here uh, not there what on here else which one is the close if close else so it's if open and then just copy this one um, close 
is equal to true open is equal to false just like that and we are done deck your door script your hinge there we go now you have the door script uh, when you start the game uh, I forgot to add my first person controller the Alright, um, get the main camera and then take first person character prefab FPS controller. Now, if you go, uh, if you go near this door, um, where you can just jump over it. Um, it says need a key. Uh, we are going to make the key no and just cup no not just copy um 3d object cube make sure this is your just make sure this is your key i don't know maybe you have a key or something on the ground box clutter is make sure it's trigger and just resize this there we go and then just name this door key All right now open your door key void on trigger enter collider other um public bull in trigger in triggers is equal to true and then the other one is void on trigger exit collider other in trigger is equal to false and then void on ui if in trigger is equal to true and then ui dot box zero rec zero zero six three two hundred twenty five press e to take to take key and then going to make a void update void update if in trigger is equal to true if input dot get key get get key down input dot code key code dot e now um if input dot get key down key code dot e and then um door script dot dot um door key is equal to true and then just try uh this dot game object just like that and then we are done put your door key on your door key i don't know which one is door key because I haven't named it yet. Uh, so this is the door key. Put your door key into your door key script. Now we are done with the door. So um, where is that? Oh, press it to take key. When you go here, press it to open. As you can see, it's it's basically door. Actually, it stops when there is a player. No, it's really done. It will push the player. That's good to know, right? Oh, there! Oh, that is the problem. I forgot. Um, I just copy this one and then just press it like that. Well, hold on, just copy from if open, delete it, <coughs> excuse me, 
um which one is intrigue right now put it below there there we go it stops because it's only open and close when there's a player inside the trigger since we don't want to do that we have to do that we have to remove the if in trigger there we go uh, and it's a key to take the key and then as you can see it's still there we go that's how you make an openable door in 3d i hope this video helps if it does please leave a like and if if you guys want some more tutorial hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys